That's a big chicken. Hey, all right, so we're back and we're looking at a new garden I just planted and it's uh, starting to pop up. This is a, uh, well, this is our old tomato patch and uh, you can see through here, there's not much, there's one tomato plant left in here and it looks pretty raggly. It's probably, I don't know, it might come back, who knows, but. What I decided to do with this garden is come back and mainly plant these. And those are pumpkins. I got two varieties of pumpkins in here. One is a jack-o'-lantern style pumpkin and the other is a sweet pie pumpkin. And I'm kind of pushing the envelope of when you can start and stop these things. And what I'm thinking is I'm probably not going to get any pumpkins for Halloween. If I do actually get pumpkins for Halloween, I'm going to carve it up and pass out candy, which I never do. But what else has happened in here is other things are popping up. We got beans popping up. I don't think I planted these. I think these are from a, another garden, so who knows. And uh, sunflowers. I've always got sunflowers. Um, over here, that's a nice big basil plant. That thing's coming in. Let's go look at this thing. This thing's coming in good. Looks really nice. You know, one of my favorite things to do besides cook with basil is just rub it in your fingers like that and smell it, man. Oh, God, that smells good. So, we've got some stuff. There's some old chili plants in here. Um, I'm thinking once it cools off a little more, they'll probably start producing. And then, you see these little cages here? These are uh, garbage cans from the dollar store. Literally, they're a dollar a piece. And I went through this for years and years and years, um, trying to cut up chicken wire to make baskets to protect plants. And uh, it just never really worked out good. It took forever to make them. I could never find the right pattern to put into the chicken wire. There's a watermelon that popped up. I have no idea where that came from. There's another watermelon there too. Anyways, I could never find the right pattern to like make a perfect basket and not waste a bunch of chicken wire. One day I was at the dollar store and I found these baskets for a dollar a piece. And more or less, I put these over my new seedlings to keep the birds and the dogs out of them. Like you can see these, they're, they're not ready to be unprotected yet. But look at this one. This one right here is uh, touching the top. All you do is you pull the basket off, set it aside, and there's our protected plants. Now they're out on their own. I will say I did something else here Two, I planted three pumpkin seeds for every basket I put out here. Um, you can see them, they're kind of sprawling out. What I'm going to do is come in here, find the really good pumpkin plant, the biggest one more or less, the one that's growing the best, and I'm going to cut the other two down. So like right now, we'll see. This one's the biggest, but this one's growing the best. I'm going to give it another week or two. I'm also going to come back through here and give it a give everything a little shot of organic fertilizer and put some more mulch down the, the mulch is getting a little thin I can almost see dirt over there this time of year I want the mulch to be nice and thick there's another little basil plant over here it's struggling though and we're gonna see if I can actually get pumpkins this year usually my pumpkins I start a lot earlier and they kind of weather through the summer. And then the last few years with the squash bugs, they just haven't, you know, they can't get going. Um, but this year, I don't know. I didn't get the squash bugs. They didn't wipe out my other plants. And we're gonna see. So I got a couple things to do out here. Uh, this is another thing I wanted to remind you all about succession planning. So this bed is two weeks old. There's some older plants in here 
but the beds back in there are a couple months old. You can see they're just super thick. I've got to do a couple videos on uh, cow peas or black eyed peas, whatever you want to call them. I got these chili plants. I got stuff starting to grow off this trellis. This thing is taking off back here. A month ago, it was all, well, two months ago, it was all died off. It just it served its purpose and it was done. Now we're, we've got those going. By the time these start faltering a little bit, this thing, we probably won't even be able to walk by it. I'm going to have to get a weed whacker out and cut it all back. But yeah, here's our pumpkin patch, and we're going to see what we end up with. Thanks for watching. This has been Aaron from Booyah Farms.